So I wanted to take a minute and show you how a live video post looks directly on Facebook. So I click to start a live video as the post type. And from here, Facebook will allow me to actually go and live stream a video. So let me make sure I look nice. <laughs> and I'm going to just create a quick live stream so you can see how it works. And Trump's calendars. So I'm going to go ahead and go live and you'll see me actually recording the live stream, but you can get a sense for how it works and then I'll show you how it looks on my page afterwards. Hi, this is Krista Nair, CEO of Bootcamp Digital, and I'm coming to you from my recording studio in my home where I'm up a little bit late. I'm in Europe at the moment, so it's late here. If you're joining us from the U.S., it's probably the middle of the afternoon there. But I wanted to talk to you um, because I'm in the middle of actually recording training on Facebook, and I'm actually demoing Facebook Live as a part of the training but I was talking about something in this training that I think is really important for everyone. And so I wanted to go live to just share this idea with you. So as I was thinking about what leads to success in Facebook, and honestly, it's not just Facebook. A lot of people talk as you think about content planning, about content calendars. And gosh, I remember in the early days of social media, Frequency of posts on every social network was such a big deal. People wanted to know, how many times should I post on Facebook per week? How often do I need to post on Twitter? And it was all about how often you needed to do everything. And what we found over time is that it's not about your calendar and how often you post. It's more about what you post. Because if what you post isn't amazing and great, it really doesn't matter how often you're posting. And the mistake that a lot of us make is we create a calendar where we set an expectation that, okay, I'm going to post X number of times a week. And so you decide, okay, I'll post three times a week. And maybe one of those three times you don't have anything good to say. You don't have great content. So we put out mediocre content in order to match a content calendar. Me, well, that's awful. This is why there's so much bad content online because we feel like we need to follow these content calendars even when we don't have anything good to say. And so you're better off thinking about content trumping your calendar, meaning the content should always come first. If you can post amazing content that also matches your calendar, hey, don't get me wrong, that's the ideal situation. But in all reality, what is the probability that you can do that? I don't know, it's probably not great. So what you want to be thinking about is when do I have great content and let content and great content, not good content, great content be your guiding factor and your guiding principle versus sticking to a calendar that ultimately isn't going to be the bulk of what matters. You know, people always want to know all these tricks about how to be successful in social media. Look, if all you had to do was follow a bunch of simple hacks and someone could give you the secrets to Facebook success overnight, I'd be lying on a beach somewhere. I wouldn't be working. The reality is that it's hard work and creating great content is hard work. So you need to be thinking about how you can create great content Stop focusing on tricks and gimmicks and put great content ahead of everything else. And honestly, we're reevaluating our content approach at Bootcamp Digital. And this is something that's on my mind a lot because we do have some of our posting a little on autopilot because it's low investment. And from an ROI standpoint, either we do it great and get good results or we minimize our effort and get meh results. And so now we're reevaluating and saying, hey, where can we create great content and really drive our results. So tip of the day, content trumps calendars. Everything should focus around not good content, great content, and that's more important than any gimmicks or sticking to a content calendar. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful, and maybe we'll do these more often. If you liked us, if you liked this, leave a comment, let me know, and maybe I'll consider doing them more frequently. Thanks for joining, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So as you can see, that was a quick live stream that we ran directly from Bootcamp Digital. And once they're done processing it, a lot of video will be available on our Facebook page 
where people who weren't able to join the live stream can actually see the video that I just created. So as you're thinking about your strategy, here we go, it's already there, that was fast. So you can see here, the live stream was up live as I was doing it, but now people can watch the video as soon as it gets processed. So you can see it will be available to watch on our timeline shortly. So what it'll do is it'll also add that content to our timeline. So that's a quick preview of how the Facebook Live video feature works on Facebook.